Hey, what is up guys? Malfect here and welcome back to a new gameplay test video. Today I'm gonna test out PUBG Mobile, the global light speed version with using the GFX tool. Today I'm trying it out with the Pogophone F1 bike Xiaomi. It has the Snapdragon 845 and 6 gigs of RAM. Let's go to the GFX tool itself first of all. And here we do have to select the PUBG version we are playing with. So uh, today it is the 8.1, the global version. Let's lower the volume a little bit because there's always a advertisement we don't want to hear. The resolution will stay as it is because this is the stock resolution of PUBG Mobile. The graphics will be HDR, FPS will be 60, Anti-lacing is also enabled and the style will be colorful because I like colorful the most. Shadow is of course enabled too. Safe controls is a new option in the GFX tool which we're gonna enable that makes the settings be saved. Okay, um, basically just hit start or accept and there's again an advertisement which we're gonna close now and just hit run game and as for my newest viewers guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as i'm releasing new videos every day with different devices and different games so hit the bell to stay tuned if you start the game with um, gfx tool it does take a little bit longer than usual but that's normal you guys don't have to worry and yeah, a lot of you people asked me um, if the GFX tool is bannable, um, if you are getting banned with using it and whatsoever. And no, you guys don't have to worry. Um, as the developer already said of the GFX tool, this is not bannable. Um, so everything is safe for now at least. Okay, um, just let's go to the settings to check again and then graphics and as you can see we are set to hdr frame rate is extreme here which normally we wouldn't have that option the style effect is colorful anti-lacing is also enabled and auto adjust graphics is disabled it's pretty important that you disable this option because if the game finds out that your device is struggling on these settings, it will automatically lower the overall quality of the graphics. Okay, and then we're gonna go with a classic game, which will be Sandhawk, because that's the newest one, and just hit start. And yeah, a lot of people ask me if I have any issues with the Pogophone itself, um, like those um, screen bleeding problems or any touch sensitivity. Nope, my unit luckily doesn't have that problem. At least I didn't really see those problem on my unit. Um, my unit really um, performs and um, does what it sh what, what it should do. Um, I don't experience any problems. I'm pretty happy for now at least. Everything is just running fine whatsoever. I didn't experience any problems. And I'm still, still, still pretty happy with that device. It can play everything you throw at it at maximum details easily. And with this price tag, you can't really go wrong anyways. For around 300 bucks, that's a bang for your buck, really. If you are looking for a high-end device with a good battery life and overall good system performance and graphic performance, this device is to go for you. Um, one bad thing I experienced is that notch problem here. That notch makes, um, like you can see, um, the game cut out a little bit, which I don't really like some options and whatsoever is um, yeah closed or you can't see it so this game 
is somehow buggy. I don't know if that's with Pogophone especially or if it's overall with devices, Android devices especially, with that notch on. But that kind of annoys me and I'm hoping that PUBG or Xiaomi or whatever will fix that problem because PUBG Mobile is one of the um, best games really to play on a device. Okay, um, let's go. I didn't really watch where I'm gonna jump out, but I'm gonna just go somewhere and hope that I'm not dying as fast. And I can absolutely see a difference just from um, the stock experience. And yeah, it's running quite more fluid than without using the GFX tool, which um, is quite um, awesome. So yeah, overall I can't really so overall I can't really say anything bad about that. Um, yeah, it's running brilliantly. Highest settings, the FPS do really look like 60 FPS. Although I can show you guys that it's really running on 60 FPS. But it feels like it. So um, yeah, that's why I'm going with that state band. This video is in 60 FPS, so if you guys see any frame drops, that is in real time. And yeah, without using GFX tool, I had here and there some minor lags, which really didn't make any problems. But with using the GFX tool, um, this problem isn't even barely there. I can experience not even micro stuttering. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's running really brilliantly, Larry. Um, better than I expected. The improvement with using the GFX tool. Um, yeah, really stoked about that. The graphics do look awesome. The uh, color style is um, really suited in that map. Green pops out. Let's go uphill here. The shadows and the grass looks brilliant. That's how I want to play PUBG really. Let's look a little bit around. If you can find something useful like a six times scope. So everything is maxed out really. Like said, the only thing I didn't change is the resolution, which I um, really don't mind at all. Let's gonna do that two, three times. Okay, let's see where we are at. Should be totally fine. It does um, drop some frames when the environment or the new houses has to load, I think. But um, that's really minor. Still better than the stock game itself. Okay, that was totally purpose on purpose, guys. <laughs> uh, 
Let's uh, quickly drink the energy drink. Okay, somebody was shooting at me. Yeah, there's this guy which sniped me. But yeah, this stuff happens. That's how it goes. And yeah, guys, a quick test video how DGFX tool performs using PUBG Mobile and the Poképhone itself. Thank you a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see new videos every day. Bye guys.